Hello everyone, it's me again, Matteo. It's Friday, and I welcome you back in my little RC garage. Thanks for stopping by and watching. Here I have another 118 skater. It's called Triton, and it's from Easy RC. It's powered by a 2 cell LiPo battery. It has a functional suspension, a proportional steering, and comes ready to run with a 2.4 GHz radio. It has functional front and back lights, and like the real one, four wheel drive. This is my fourth 118 scaler, next to the Fire Horse, FJ Cruiser, and Chevy K10. Let's unpack it now and see what it looks like. Here is the manual and the 2.4 GHz pistol transmitter. And this is the charging cable to fill the battery with energy. And here is this little thing. It's nice and looks like an FJ Cruiser, but it's called Triton cause it's not licensed. I like the look of the front end with the front guard and fog lights. And the blue painted hard plastic body has a lot of scale details. The tires are soft and have a good looking tread. The front hood can be opened and underneath are the electronics. The battery is also stowed here. It's a 2 cell LiPo with 380 mA capacity. The Bissell transmitter fulfills the purpose and works with 3 AA batteries. This is the charging cable and a USB charger is required to use it. I can use this from a smartphone. A small Tamiya like tool is also included. Now I turn on the transmitter and connect the battery cable. The steering works and as you can see the turn signals also work. And it runs. Surprisingly the front lights only work when the car is moving forward. The same applies to the tail lights. They only work when the truck is reversing. The four length suspension with rigid axles and coil springs looks very realistic and works fine. And the steering servo is installed on the chassis. But you may have noticed that the truck looks very similar to the yellow FJ Cruiser from FMS. In fact, some things are the same. Some details like side mirrors, wipers and footsteps are exactly the same. But there are also some differences. The front end is not the same, and the blue model does not have a snorkel, perhaps because this one is not waterproof. At the rear the FJ Cruiser is equipped with a license plate and an FJ Cruiser emblem. The Triton does not have these details. But nevertheless, the blue one also has many nice details. The yellow FJ Cruiser is equipped with a dashboard and full interior. But as you can see there is nothing inside the Triton. Another big difference is the lightning. On the FJ Cruiser the lights can be switched in different modes via remote control. As I have already shown the Triton lighting only works while driving and the lights cannot be switched. The 
from below, both cars are the same. You may ask, why should I buy the Triton when the FJ Cruiser is much better equipped and fully licensed? Well, the answer is the price. The FJ Cruiser is twice as expensive as the Triton, and that makes all the difference. So even if your budget is limited, you can have a lot of fun with the Triton. And one more thing. Finally I was able to get some driver figures for my 118 scaler. These figures come from Schleich, a German toy manufacturer known for their snurf figures. I think they fit well, maybe it will take a surgery or two to get them behind the wheel. So I'm looking forward to getting outside with these little machines. Unfortunately the weather conditions here are very bad at the moment. So it's not easy to go out and film. But fortunately, we can also use them well indoors. At this point, I would like to thank you for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. See you next time.